Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. This is Snapshot 22W05A. And here on the website it states that there are some larger changes that aren't quite ready. So this one is a small squishing of bugs. Squishing. Is it a word? And according to this official looking website, yes, squishing is actually a word. Now getting back to the Minecraft stuff, this video actually represents back-to-back -back uploads from me as we had this one just yesterday. In it we learned about the new Minecraft preview that's going to replace a beta. We got to see the new Create World interface. We got some tweets about farming Skulk in 1.19 and we got to see some updated frog features in the latest beta. But it's no longer the latest beta as we got another one today. This might be the first time that we got both a snapshot and a beta on the same day. And in this one there are more changes to frogs and tadpoles and even the goat horn so we're definitely going to check back on that later in this video. For now though, let's get into the changes in this snapshot. And as suggested, this snapshot is mostly about bugs. The one big change is that the rearranged badlands biome from the last snapshot has been reverted but in the future it's going to get reverted again when they implement it properly. So one of these bug fixes is a really big change regarding water and how it flows and how it looks visually. So I'll ask you the question, does that look normal to you? Is that how you expected the water to look when I placed the bucket down? And similar to that, there is another visual bug that's quite common that would occur just here. However, we're looking at the fixed version right now. So here in 1.18, we can see how this used to look the water would connect to the water blocks up above, which looks really strange. If we do the same thing over again, it connects upwards like this in the corner. This also affects the removal animation as well. That's a lot more visible when we go over here and remove the water. And right now I'm obviously in 1.18, so let's go ahead and do that in the new snapshot. So as you would suspect, the animation just removes like normal, especially over here. And that is quite a significant change, because if you're a new player, that always looks quite quirky. Next up, I'm going to show you some screenshots from the Bug Tracker website. What you're looking at here is Dripstone actually generating in the world and replacing other blocks as a consequence of that. Something similar happens with the support struts for the mineshaft where the oak logs don't actually generate through Dripstone as they should do. And then similar to this with the oak planks, as you can see Dripstone is replacing those where they should be oak planks. The AI of foxes has been updated because of how they interact with powder snow. We'll go spawn one here in the middle. And here you'll see that the guy has decided to take a little nap rather than pathfinding out of here and it starts to take damage and eventually will die. And that is unbelievably cruel. So now the foxes will be smarter and be able to pathfind their way out of the powder snow. Now if you use the redstone ready preset for a flat world, you may have seen slimes spawning, which is completely erroneous. They're not supposed to do this and they no longer will in a redstone flat world. And for the rest of these bugs, they're really minor issues. One or two of them I tried to recreate with no luck. This one here though, campfires and hoppers cause constant chunk saving. That sounds like a performance improvement to me. But we're not done just yet because there are a couple of things that I missed in 22W03A. If I open up the F3 screen on the chunk line, it now actually tells you what region file you're inside of. So as I move around here, you can see that we're moving in and out of the different files that are saved for the world. So if you wanted to purge one of these files, this would be a useful tool to help you figure out which region is exactly inside of that. Now in this game, there is a stat known as knockback resistance. It's applied to entities and it was actually being miscalculated. There could actually be a chance to stop the knockback effect entirely, whereas what it's supposed to do is reduce it. So that's been corrected it will now only reduce and not stop the knockback effect. And last of all, there was also a tag added known as full damage resetting. The blocks inside of this list are simply ones that reset full damage. So that's now something you can use to customize full damage events in your world. So now it's on to the Minecraft beta and we've got a big change here because the frogs now have an item that they're attracted to for breeding. And that's actually the slime ball as we know they consume the smaller slimes. If we right click on one of them, they get the love hearts and then they start to breed. I actually think this was already implemented. It was just wheat before, right? Whereas now it's been changed to slime balls. And after a little breeding, you can see that uh, two of them are no longer interesting. They're heading over to the water to lay their frog spawn. 
And speaking of frog spawn, this stuff can now be destroyed with a piston. This will also happen when the water beneath it is removed. Frog spawn can now be placed on top of waterlogged blocks too. And as you'll see here, this could be used for decoration. So you could take a block that's waterlogged and then put those down on top of it. I don't know if they'll eventually hatch. I'm guessing they probably will, but it's kind of a way to decorate other blocks. And last for the frog spawn, they can be destroyed by falling blocks. And the health of tadpoles has been increased up to six, so it now has three hearts in total. Then there is also this note, which I don't really understand. Like weight 10, head size 2 to 5, not really sure what that's about. And then there is the goat horn. And nothing exciting here. <laughs> There's the sound. The new thing is the cooldown. So you'll have to wait a while after using this before you can use it again. And one last thing, we have another tweet from King B Dogs saying that's a lot of skulk. And this time you can see that he's doing some testing with the Elder Guardian boss mob. And if you want to learn more about the testing that they've been doing, then be sure to go check out this video after this one. The link to the Minecraft update playlist is in the description box below. And there you go, a very small snapshot, but make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to catch all of the snapshots, betas and Minecraft news, as that's what I do over here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye bye.